हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन आई एम धवल सर एंड अवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम योर लिटरेचर पार्ट हनी ड्यू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री सेकेंड पार्ट राइट सो इन अवर फर्स्ट पार्ट वी आर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द चैप्टर दैट हाउ द ब्रिटिशर्स दे रूल्ड इन इंडिया राइट एंड वी आर डिस्कस्ड थ्री पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम द नाइन पॉइंट्स गिवन इन द चैप्टर फर्स्ट पॉइंट वॉज अबाउट द मार्टियर्स second about the company's conquest and the third one was about the british rule that is from 1756 to 1836 right so in this uh, lecture we'll discuss the remaining six points right starting from point number 4 that is raja ram mohan roy right so as we know that raja ram mohan roy he was a scholar and a reformist a reformist means a person who tries to bring change or reforms in the society right raja ram mohan roy a learned man learned man means a very knowledgeable person who is having great knowledge about different things right so that person is known as a learned man a learned man from bengal understood what was wrong with the country right so in our previous lecture we discussed that uh, there were many evil practices uh, practiced in the society like sati then child marriage then widows were not allowed to do the remarriage right so this were some of the evil practices which were prevailing in the society right and uh, raja ram mohan roy as we know that he was a scholar he was a learned man he understood or he knew that this are some of the basic problems in our society which we need to fight first right and if this problems are removed from the society then and then only the people of india can think freely right so moving further what he is saying let us not despise ourselves despise means to disrespect or to dislike ourselves right so let us not despise ourselves our ancient culture is great so these are the words of raja ram mohan roy what is saying uh, due to the britishers operation that means they were uh, treating the indian people as slaves right and due to that the self respect of the indian people was totally destroyed or damaged right so uh, the people they had lost their confidence they were uh, so much in depression that they did not uh, work properly they could not do their work and therefore uh, the person like raja ram mohan roy he is saying that our ancient culture is great right and we need to give respect to ourselves our culture and we are capable of greater achievements we must first reform our society reform means to bring change in the society superstitions have been ruining us so he is of the opinion that uh, the superstitions which i have told like sati child marriage so this were the superstitions uh, due to which our society was continuously getting ruined or destroyed okay he told his wife uma cows are of different colors but the color of their milk is the same different teachers have different opinions but the essence of every religion is the same right so through this wordings he is trying to say that the people in the society they have divided themselves and due to which there is a problem there is no unity in the people of india but uh, through this example he is trying to say that the people of each and every religion though they follow any other caste or religion but ultimately we all are the same people uh, we are the people of same god right he was attracted by modern science and knowledge knowledge should be practical and scientific so these are the thinking of uh, raja ram mohan roy he crossed the seas and went to england to see what made the british powerful right so we had seen that the religious men they preached that of if a person crosses the sea then he will be removed from the religion but as raja ram mohan roy he was a very learned person uh, he did not follow any kind of superstitions of the society and he went to uh, england that is overseas why he went over there because he wanted to understand he wanted to gain knowledge right that why these people are having so much control over the indians what is the reason and uh, how they are doing it there he told them 
we accept you as rulers and you must accept us as subjects subjects means uh, the people right so uh, in social science we have already studied that the king is known as the ruler and the people right who is living uh, in the kingdom of the king are known as the subjects of the ruler right so what raja ram mohan roy said to the britishers because the britishers they were already ruling the india they were uh, having their control over the indians and therefore what he is saying that we accept you as the rulers but you must accept us as the subject that means uh, as you are ruling our country uh, there are many responsibilities as a ruler which you have to follow right you must treat us as your subject and you must give us our rights and obligations but you must remember the responsibility a ruler owes to his subject that means what i explained you that uh, if there is a ruler if there is a king then he has a lot of responsibility towards his subject or his people right to look after their needs to look after their problems so all the things is to be taken care by the king right so that was the request made by raja ram mohan roy to the britishers he started newspapers but the suspicious british stopped them in 1823 that means through newspaper raja ram mohan roy was trying to spread the positivity in the uh, positivity in the society he was trying to unite the people of india but the britishers they were suspicious about him that means they were doubtful that this person is acting against us that means he is doing something wrong against us and therefore they stopped the newspaper which was started by raja ram mohan roy <coughs> next is operation now operation means what so operation means uh, if a person is having the power right or authority he is using that power or authority in a unfair or a cruel way that is known as operation that means if i am having the power i am utilizing or using that power in a unfair way right so that is operation but the british continued to oppress indians that means after the request of raja ram mohan roy and also many other people that requested the britishers that they should be liberal towards the indians they should treat the indian people with respect right then to the britishers uh they were very aggressive and harsh towards the indian people and they were very oppressive that means they were uh in the rule and they were having the power which they were misusing and they were treating the people of india as slaves in 1818 they had passed regulation 3 under it an indian could be jailed without trial in a court right so again a very uh injustice which was done to the indian people in 1818 a law was passed by the britishers and according to that law any person who was suspected by the britishers that means if britishers thought that this person is uh, acting against the britishers then even if they don't have any kind of evidence uh, they can put the person behind the bars or the jail and even they were not taken to the court for the trial that means they were not given the chance to be heard right so it was against humanity right and uh, that thing was practiced in the society during 1818 all the time british officers in india drew big salaries and also made fortunes in private business so uh, we already know that the east india company that is the british east india company was Uh, working in india it had taken control over whole of the india and along with the british east india com- company uh, there were the employees or the officers who were working in the british east india company they were also privately trading on their own and they were also earning huge income from that uh, private business from india okay by 1829 british was exporting british goods worth 7 crore rupees to india right so we know that uh, in those days even uh, hundreds or thousands of rupees had a very big value uh, it was very big amount in those days right so even at those time also in 1829 the britishers they were exporting 
British goods. That means uh, they were uh, taking the raw materials from India to England, and in England they were producing or uh, manufacturing finished goods. Right, that was worth seven crore rupees. Right, and those goods they were exporting to India. Right, and from those goods they were earning a very very huge amount. Right, so that is how the Indians uh, were losing their money because the Britishers they were selling their own goods. They were taking the raw materials from India. They were producing goods in England, and again they were selling those goods in India. From that they were earning huge amount. Right, so from that amount only they were becoming more and more powerful, and they were ruling over India. Governor General Bentinck reported back home, the bones of cotton weavers are bleaching the plains of India. The British prospered on the company's loot while Indian industries began to die. Right. So first we'll discuss this line. The Britishers prospered on the company's loot while Indian industries began to die. That means uh, the Britishers they were wanting. Uh, <clears throat> more and more amount of profit more and more amount of money right so what they did they forced the farmers to produce only those uh, raw material that is uh, cotton indigo spices whatever they wanted right and uh, so therefore they took cotton and other raw materials to england they brought the finished goods over india and they sold those goods over india right and as i've explained that this imported goods did not have any kind of tax while the indian cottage industries which produced clothes and everything they were heavily taxed or they were heavily charged with the taxes so in this way the indian industries were looted right they were ruined or destroyed by the britishers okay the bones of cotton weavers are bleaching the plains of india that means the britishers what they did uh, they took away the raw materials from the farmers at a very very cheap rates right so uh, this was how uh, the farmers were ruined or destroyed the peasants they did not get the money for what they are working they were working so hard to produce the goods right but uh, ultimately when they grew the crops Uh, for that they were not even paid by the britishers okay sixth point dissatisfaction right education in india was in persian and sanskrit in 1835 that means the people of india they knew only the sanskrit and the persian language but at that time also maximum countries of the world uh, they were practicing english right so they did not have any kind of knowledge uh, which was going on in the other countries because at that time also there were many countries where different different other countries had taken over their control and they had developed their colonies but as the indians they knew only the sanskrit language they could not study right because at that time also many countries were there uh, who fought against the other countries who had taken control over them and got freedom but as we did not know other languages except sanskrit and persian we could not read the books of those countries and we could not understand anything right so in 1835 a english man named macaulay suggested a change what he said that we should teach the natives that is the indian people through the english language right so he gave this suggestion and it was accepted by the britishers so what happened english education produced clerks to whom the british gave petty jobs petty means very small jobs under them right so the main intention of the britishers was not for the betterment of the indians right behind starting english education in india uh, they had their own benefits and purposes what was the reason that is Uh, they wanted that in india itself the people learn english language and if they knew english language then they can work for the britishers because if they bring uh, officers or the people from england to india for working then it was very costly for them right so uh, they educated the indian people and uh, they gave them the 
petty jobs that means very small position or a job in their company and they paid very less amount to them incidentally it also produced a new generation of intellectuals right so actually the britishers they had started english education for themselves but uh, out of that english education through learning the english education the indian peoples uh, indian people they got uh, very much uh, knowledgeable they started reading the books of the other countries they understood how the other countries uh, fighted against the countries who had control over them and got freedom so they understood this concept and they also understood that what the britishers are doing with the indians is totally or completely wrong and therefore they started making other people understand this and a feeling of patriotism developed during that time we must educate our brothers and try to improve their material conditions for that we must convey our grievances to the british parliament right so what this uh, indians are saying that we must educate our uh, brothers also and through that they will learn new things they will also get job they can also earn money right and for that we must convey our grievances to the british parliament that means they were not satisfied with the britishers behavior towards the indians because the britishers what they did they paid very high amount of salary to the britishers and for the same work the indians were paid very low right so for that they were very much dissatisfied with the britishers by 1856 that is the almost 100 years period that is from 1757 till 1856 the britishers had conquered the whole of india right so we can see the uh, map on the left hand side where pink color area is given which is the area which was conquered by the britishers that is almost uh, whole of the india covered by the britishers they cared little about the needs of the indians right our kings have become puppets and we have lost our old jobs that means the indians were treated very badly right and even the uh, kings they were under the control of the britishers they could not do anything on their own and lens they are converting our brothers you only talk do something to drive them out right so this is the discussion being uh, going on between the people of the villages right uh, so they were very much worried about that because the farmers they were being looted the industries they were being looted the kings were the puppets under the britishers rule right and everything was against the indians so they are very much worried about that right and uh, as the britishers they had started bringing reforms in the society uh, they were very much worried indian people because even with that reforms the britishers were trying to convert the indian people to christianity okay next paragraph that is the sparks taxes continued to ruin the peasants peasants means the farmers right so as we have already discussed that the farmers they were forced to pay the taxes even if they had a crop failure even if they did not earn any kind of money then to they had to pay a huge amount of tax to the britishers in bengal the santhals right santhal is an ethnic group of the eastern india right so it is a group of people who live in the eastern part of india and they are also known as manji right so the santhals who had lost their lands under new land rules became desperate right so we had uh, learned how the britishers they had taken control in uh, the bengal and the different parts of bengal right so so in 1855 they rose in rebellion so rebellion means an act of armed resistance that means the people they fought against the britishers with arms and ammunition right so they rose in rebellion and massacred europeans right so massacred europeans and their supporters alike that means this indian people they got so much angry with the britishers that they could not control their anger and they started killing the 
British people, okay? Uh, because we know the examples of Chori Chora district, right? The police or uh, uh, office was burnt, and uh, almost twenty to twenty-two Britishers were uh, means burnt in the fire, right? By the Indian people. So many India Indians they tried to kill the uh, Britishers uh, through their anger. Okay, moving further, discontent. Discontent means dissatisfaction. So discontent was brewing in the East India Company's army too, right? So why there was a discontent in the British army because uh, there also injustice was done towards the Indian people, right? For the same job, the Britishers were paid almost hundred rupees, and for the same job, the Indians who were working in the British army were paid seven rupees. So we can understand the difference. What injustice was done. and along with that uh, we have learnt in social science that the britishers uh, they produced the grease which was used in the guns right which had to be beaten by the uh, indians right was made from the beef the meat of the beef and pig beef is a cow and uh, pork pork is a pig right so the indians right so indians consisted maximum of hindus and muslims so hindus considered beef that is cow as mother god and uh, the muslims they con consider pork that is the pig as a bad thing right so they had to beat away the uh, cartridge which was used in the royal enfield gun right so they were very much angry because they were forced to do that work which was ex, uh, absolutely unaccepted by the people of india right so there was discontent there is dissatisfaction among them the white soldiers gets huge pay mentions to live in servants that means they were given houses to live in they were paid a huge salary but in front of that the indians were paid very less amount while we get a pittance and slow promotion so pittance means a small amount right as i have discussed and uh, the promotions were also given to the white skin people that is the britishers uh, but the indians they got very uh, less promotion or a very slow promotion the angrez asks us to cross the sea which is against our religion who is the topi wala to abolish our age old customs right so here the topi wala means the britishers they are talking about we must drive out the angrez that means they are trying to say that uh, the britishers they are not uh, acting properly against the Briti uh, indians and therefore we must remove them from our country sepoy mangal pande attacked the adjutant adjutant means the assistant officer adjutant of his regiment and was executed so mangal pande was a soldier in british army but as he was very much angry he could not control his anger and therefore what he did he killed the assistant officer in the british army thousands of other sepoys revolted they were stripped of their uniforms that means they were removed from the jobs humiliated and put in irons put in irons means they were put behind the jail or the bars few englishmen had cared to understand indian customs or the people's mind oh proud brahmin soldiers do you know that the grease on the bullet you have to bite is made from the fat of cows and pigs right so this is what the indians came to know as i already discussed that this thing were actually totally unacceptable by the indians what the white man has deceived us too that means the soldiers uh, when they came to know about this they felt cheated right they were very much depressed soon chapatis were sent from village to village to tell the people that their emperor would want their services yes all my village men will be ready that means through chapatis that means they tried to pass on the message because the britishers they were very active and they did not want that uh, anyone act against them so uh, through different different means the people they tried to pass on the message right so through uh, chapatis uh, in all the villages uh, messages were 
past that the rulers or the kings they wanted the people support to fight against the britishers similarly lotus flowers circulated among indian soldiers death to the foreigners that means through this they tried to pass on the message that now we will not tolerate the humiliation by the britishers and we will fight against the britishers and uh, will kill the britishers that means uh, will give death to the foreigners the masses gave all help and shelter to the patriot right the masses gave all help and shelter to the patriot that means the people who were fighting against the britishers right they were totally supported by the people of india okay that is next is revolt so uh, revolt of 1857 then there was a violent outbreak at merit right as i said that uh, mangal pande he attacked the assistant officer of the britishers and because of that a war broke out and there was a fight between the britishers and the indians the sepoys marched to delhi long live our emperor bahadur shah right so the rebellion spread wider that means the indians were so much dissatisfied with the britishers that they started fighting they started a war against the indians for the or against the uh, britishers for the first time together that means at that time it was for the first time when a huge crowd a huge group of people a huge group of indians they got together and they decided to fight against the britishers many landlords had lost their lands because of the british policies and they were sore that means they were unhappy the white man's rule must end yes we will help you that means these are the people of india right who had suffered a lot and they were deciding to fight against the britishers and to remove the britishers from india now the last point that is the fight for the freedom so the lady which you can see in the picture is begum hazrat mahal of lucknow right so many former rulers like begum hazrat mahal of lucknow were bitter bitter means they were not a uh, not at all happy they were disappointed or dissatisfied the white man has taken away my kingdom that means uh, her kingdom was taken away by the britishers and therefore she was very disappointed right popular leaders like molvi ahmadulla of faizabad told the people rise brothers rise the angres is ruining our land that means he was trying to make the people understand that now we need to fight against the britishers and if we don't fight against them then it will be too late right so they joined the upsurge against the foreigners upsurge means uh, immediate rise right so there was a, an immediate rise against the britishers right and all the people they started joining in it the people rose everywhere in bareilly kanpur and allahabad so people rose everywhere means they were ready to fight against the britishers azimulla khan told tatya toke we should have peshwa nana saheb as our leader in this war of independence that means tatya tope was a very good uh, fighter and a leader so he is saying that we should have tatya tope as our leader against the fight against britishers right mother uh, 80 year old kuwar singh of bihar received a bullet in his wrist so uh, kuwar singh was 80 years old then too he was fighting against the britishers and when he got a bullet in his arms so what did he do to save himself he cut his arm and he put it in the river ganga and what is saying mother ganga this is my last offering to you right the patriots pounced upon the british and fought pitched battles all over north india so pounced means to attack or uh, act suddenly without hesitation that means now the indians they had become fearless and they had decided that anyhow will remove the indian uh, britishers from india so the indians they started fighting against the britishers and that was the first war of independence when all the people of india maximum people of india they fought against the britishers okay they united together and fought against the britishers so here our chapter gets over right uh, thank you everyone for watching my video uh, till our next video uh, 
uh, stay healthy and stay safe